Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to connect Google Analytics with your Redbubble shop. Google Analytics recently updated their platform, so this is an updated video to show you the new process to generate the UA tracking code. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. By connecting your Redbubble shop with Google Analytics, you can get a greater insight into how customers are interacting with the products in your store. You can track valuable data such as the activity of your Redbubble shop visitors, page views, the most popular products, and much more. Recently, Google updated the Google Analytics site and changed the way the UA tracking code is generated. So let's go through the new way to generate a Google Analytics UA tracking code to add to your Redbubble shop. From the Redbubble homepage, let's look up at the top menu and click on your account tab. From the drop down menu, go ahead and click on account settings. This should take you to a page where you can view your artist tools and your Redbubble settings. From the menu on the left hand side, let's look under artist tools and click on the Google Analytics tab. And here's where you can add a Google Analytics UA tracking code to your Redbubble shop. The Google Analytics tracking code can also be called the Web Property ID and can be generated on the Google Analytics website. So now let's head over to Google Analytics and create a tracking code to add to our Redbubble shop. The web address is analytics.google.com. If you already have a Gmail account, simply log in with your email and password. If not, you'll need to create one before you can access Google Analytics. So here's the Google Analytics dashboard. With Google Analytics, you can view all sorts of valuable information that you can use to grow your business. But first, we'll need to connect our UA tracking code. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go down to the Admin tab. Here's where you can create a new account and create a new property which will generate your UA tracking code. So to create a new tracking code for my Redbubble shop, let's start by clicking on the blue Create Account button here. This will take you to your account setup where you can start entering your account details. Go ahead and create an account name, then scroll down and click on Next. Now we can create a property for our new account. Under Product Details, go ahead and come up with a name for your property. Make sure you name it something that you can easily recognize. You can then select your country, your time zone, and your currency. So now we get to the step that most people seem to miss when creating a new UA tracking code. Before we click the next button under our property details, we want to click this show advanced options link here. You'll then see a new box pop up where you can create a universal analytics property, which is your UA tracking code. Make sure you enable this by clicking the button on the right hand side here. A few more options should then appear to finish creating your tracking code. Under website URL, go ahead and put in redbubble.com. You can then select to create both the Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property code or only the Universal Analytics property code. Since I only need a UA tracking code for my Redbubble shop, I'm just going to select this one. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Next. You can then fill out your business information, including your industry category, your business size, and select how you plan to use Google Analytics with your business. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Create. You'll then see a box pop up where you can read the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. Go ahead and read the agreement, accept the terms, then go down to the bottom and click on I accept. And voila, you've just created your Google Analytics UA tracking code. Go ahead and copy your tracking code and let's head back over to our Redbubble account. Go ahead and paste your UA tracking code into the field for the web property ID. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Save Changes. And there we have it my Google Analytics settings have been saved. After about 48 hours or so, my Google Analytics tracking code should start generating data about my Redbubble shop. Once the data starts reporting, you'll be able to view your analytics from the Google Analytics homepage. With Google Analytics, you can monitor the actions that people are taking when visiting your Redbubble shop. This includes real-time data which shows information about the people that are currently browsing your shop, your audience insights, which provides information such as your audience demographics and the devices they use. Your audience acquisition data, which shows where your audience is coming from. Your audience behavior, which shows what products they're viewing and what pages they're clicking on. And tons of other useful information that you can use to start building your shop. 
you can use the data for all sorts of useful things such as creating paid ad campaigns and figuring out what products people are viewing the most so you can create more products in that category. So that's a quick overview of how to add Google Analytics to your Redbubble shop. Make sure you drop a like on the video and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.